So to set up the uh, shoulder joint, okay, so normally that's in that sort of position, so this bit's hanging down, uh, and I need to attach that shoulder piece there so that the, the arm can rotate in that way. Uh, but I don't want to do it in such a way that I'll have to disassemble this whole thing if I ever want to get the arm off. So I've come up with an idea of a locking pin system, uh, which will mean that I'll actually have a hidden pin inside here, uh, which I can remove, and that will just allow the arm to come off. But to make it work, I've actually got a tap of thread in this piece. So the aluminium taps really nicely once you get it started. And for anybody who doesn't know what this does, is it actually cuts a thread in so that I can actually put a bolt in place. So if you have a look in there now you can see that it's cut a thread. This is the solution I've come up with. I've got a lock pin and circlip type of system. Uh, the idea behind that is that the, the two holes that you see there line up for the, uh, the clip or the staple type piece. The hole runs through the center and the little notch that you see here uh, aligns with that clip and then stops the pin from coming out. So once I've got the pin screwed into place uh, I've got a rubber spacer and that adds tension against the clip. It's just a matter of putting that on and then lining up the clip to the notches. To, the, to do that I've got to put some compressive pressure so that it compresses that rubber and locks it in place. Okay, That's been tapped down with a hammer so that it sits flush but you can see that's that's essentially how it works. Now you can see one of the reasons why I've gone all the way through is so that, as I said, if I ever need to take the arm off, I only have to remove that pin and the shoulder mechanism would come off and then I could knock those pins out there and the entire piece would come off. So it just means that if I ever, for whatever reason, need to get to it, I've got access to the actual assembly of it. So that's a test with the eyes. I've got the one that has the lens in there next to the one that doesn't have the lens in there. And I'm sort of leaning towards the one that doesn't have the lens in um, as the effect or the look that I'm going for. I'll just turn the lights out. So that's the effect in darkness. You can see the one without the diffusing lens is uh, a lot brighter. I'm kind of in two minds about which way to go. So. If you've got comments on it, please feel free to, to comment. I'd like to know your opinion on it. Um, I think the one that has the diffused lens actually looks better when the light's turned off. So, so not real sure. I do kind of like the diffused lens when the, the lights are off, but I'm not so sure that I like it when the lights are on. The one thing I do like about it is it tends to have a little bit more controlled uh, lighting depending on where you're, you're looking from. Uh, the light seems to be more consistent, tends not to wash out. Not real sure at this stage.